morning and welcome to morning prayer during this season of Creation Tide. Today is Friday the 15th of September and we opened our worship this morning with Benedictus from Bob Chilcott's A Little Jazz Mass. In the name of God the Father who made heaven and earth, in the name of God the Son who became a creature like us, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, who sustains all life on earth. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter to Paul, of Paul, to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 19. The creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Thanks be to God. And now a reflection. The National Park Ranger once spoke about the challenges of looking after some of the most beautiful and wild places in the country, especially when some of them receive millions of visitors each year. After sharing something of the great variety of tasks involved in her role, she said this, It takes an awful lot of effort to keep these places looking untouched by human hands. Recent studies have shown that there are now effectively no areas of the earth which are untouched by human hands, whether that's directly through physical contact or indirectly through our impact on the climate, on migration patterns, on biodiversity. Of course, not all human impact is negative. There is a great deal of invaluable conservation work and creation care that goes on around the world. But it is telling, and perhaps ironic, that places of unspoilt beauty make for extremely popular tourist destinations. In her commentary on the words from Romans which we heard just now, Alice Sinnott notes that the Bible affirms the importance of places of wilderness as a reminder to humans that we cannot control or even understand all aspects of nature. Perhaps part of that revealing that Paul speaks of is a humility on the part of God's children in acknowledging the extent of our impact as a species. We can then seek to live in such a way that respects the wilderness and the wildness in the world without trying to tame it or destroy it. Is there a temptation within us to tame or bring order to wildness? How will we resist that temptation today? Amen. In the world around us this day we pray, Lord, your kingdom come. In the world before us this day we pray, your kingdom come. In the world beside us this day we pray, your kingdom come. In the world within us this day we pray, your kingdom come. In our prayers today we remember the people and ministers of the Diocese of Aberdeen and Orkney, all part of the Scottish Episcopal Church, and we hold in our prayers too the people and ministers of the Elam Valley group of churches in our own diocese. We pray also for our safeguarding officers in our group of churches, Marilyn Bacon, Donna Clifton, Jan Ead, Angela Goodwin Day, Shirley Docker, Katie Harper, Jennifer Maynard, and Judy Vinson, thanking God for their ministry. 
and we continue to remember too the people of Morocco and Libya following the natural disasters there, holding in our prayers the people who have died, the people who have been injured, the people who have been bereaved, and the people who have lost homes and livelihoods. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God of wonder, go with us into this new day. Speak to us, refresh us, astound us, that we may grow to love you and your world more deeply. Amen.